Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Today, I make a topic about insurance industry unites at Lloyd to mark Queen's death. At Lloyd's, it's our custom to ring the lutein bell once for bad news and twice for good news. That's exactly what Lloyd's did on Thursday to mark not only the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, but also accession to the throne of the new monarch, King Charles III, during a ceremony in the famous underwriting room. And also, in London, addressing the numerous insurance executive in attendance, Carnage Brown said the event was a chance to look forward to a hopeful future while looking back on what he called cherished life. The Lutin Bell note provided a moment for us all in remember, reflect, and also revere, revere the life that offered so much comfort and inspiration to so many of us over so many years as I'm sure it will continue to do in the years ahead, he stated. The Queen made three official visits to Lloyd's in 1952, 1986, and also 2014. On that first visit, the same year as her own accession, Her Majesty charged Lloyd, Lloyd with embodying the highest quality of British commerce, kinesis and efficiency with a real and deep public spirit. The Lloyd's chair went on to say, we continue to embrace that responsibility today. Her words are indelibly written in our history and will be cherished by all at Lloyd for years to come. But as we remember the legacy of one monarch, we also will come the accession of another. A single ring of the lutein ball signified the start of what was described on LinkedIn as a moving and emotional gathering. While touring at the end acclaimed King Charles III, It was represents the start of a new chapter in our shared history and for Lloyd's a chance to recognize the beginning of the another historic partnership. It is declared by Carnage Brown who sees the relationship with the royal family as an enduring one. That partnership already has firm foundation as Lloyd's has been privileged to host His Majesty while Prince of Wallace on several occasions. Most recently in June last year to launch the insurance task force of his sustainable markets in initiative, which we were honored to invite to chair. He added, as His Majesty takes on the great burdens of state at this time of sadness and loss, we offer our support and condolences to him and to his family. For our part, we will continue to carry pattern of building a braver and more sustainable future as championed by His Majesty and charged to Lloyds and others through the work of his sustainable markets. And of course, it is Sustainable Market Initiative. Meanwhile, Lloyds Chief Executive John Neal spoke with a focus on a gratitude and sense of duty. Neil told to the attendees, gratitude turns our attention away from what are we like and towards what we have. 
I'm determined to keep that idea front and center as we say goodbye to cherished leader and prepare to welcome a new and proven public servant. So today I'm grateful for a life well lived, as His Majesty so eloquently put it. I'm grateful for the family and friends to reflect on that life with and I'm grateful for the promise of another life bound and also in duty serve other as our incoming king has pledged to all who call the United Kingdom home or a home away from home. So thank you for watching and don't forget to